The machine came back and then a couple hours later, the clue bot followed him. The Yankees had a busy day after being relatively quiet during the entire offseason. A watch pot never seems to boil, and just when you thought the Yankees stove would remain cold, it got to temperature in a hurry. DJ LeMahieu is back and starter Corey Kluber is hitched to the 2021 Yankees rotation engine that is pulled, of course, by the coal train. We all know what bringing LeMahieu back does for Aaron Boone, giving him a Swiss Army knife in the infield and a steady everyday major league hitter. LeMahieu was a throwback to a not too distant baseball pass, hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking what the guy 60 feet 6 inches away is giving him. Speaking of guys standing 60 feet 6 inches away, in Kluber, the Yankees get a veteran righty who has been at the apex of his craft more than once. Kluber won the AL Cy Young in 2014 and 2017, and over a five-year stretch from 2014 through 2018, he finished in the top three four times for the coveted prize amongst hurlers. During that same stretch, he averaged 218 innings pitched, 32 starts per season, and had a 285 ERA. While he was putting up those fantastic numbers for the Indians, Matt Blake was their assistant director for pitching development. Now, Blake, of course, is the Yankees pitching coach. Familiarity will do the opposite of breeding contempt in this case. In this case, it could be the formula to provide Kluber with his redemption song and resurrection back to his dominating self potentially. Why does he need that? Well, because over the past two seasons, he has made just seven starts covering 35 and two third innings back in 2019 and just a single inning last season for the Rangers. He fractured his forearm on a comebacker in 2019 while with Cleveland and had a torn shoulder muscle after that one inning in Texas last season. Enter Eric Cressy, the Yankees director of player health and performance. He has been running Kluber's rehab, so who would be better along with Blake to do a $6 million man type rebuild on the Klubot? Well, it's actually the $11 million man, according to his contract. Apologies to the bionic man, Steve Austin. Google it, kids. There are still question marks hovering over the Yankees' rotation, but a rejuvenated Kluber who turns 35 in April is definitely a step in the right direction.